Hello everyone. Welcome to second module of spoken English class. Today we are going to learn some sentences which belong to three tenses. Generally they used to tell tenses we become self tensed. But in this class I am going to teach you in a simple way how are we going to frame sentences. First we look into the present actions. That is if I am writing like this I will say that I write and I don't write. If I am not writing I will say I don't write. And if he is writing, you will say he writes. If she is writing, you will say she writes. Generally, it will not write, but system writes for us. Then you will say it writes. It writes. Again, if all these are not doing, then you used to add don't. If he is not writing, you will say he doesn't write. You will not say he don't write. You will say he doesn't write. She doesn't write. It doesn't write. This is as simple like that. And next we go for the plurals. I have already told you that second person you will come as singular and you will add or to that in the first lesson. Now you will say you write. We write. They write. You don't write. They don't write. We don't write. And if you want to ask this as a question, are you writing? Are you writing? No, I don't write. Okay. Is he writing? He doesn't write. Like this, we used to give responses for the questions. This is about present tense. When it goes for the previous actions, that is the actions which are completed, then you used to say, I, instead of write, you will say, wrote. I wrote. He wrote. And she wrote. And it wrote. And when it and if it is of negative, I didn't write. If the verb has did, then the verb becomes not in the past present form itself. I didn't write. He didn't write. She didn't write. Okay. And when it goes for plural, you didn't write is for negative and for positive. You wrote, we wrote, and they wrote. And negative, as usual, you can guess of your own. You didn't write. Why didn't you write? I don't know the reason. You should tell me. Why didn't you write? You didn't write. They didn't write. This is all about past happenings which had been completed already these actions are over so that take up the uh, action verb right and we are converting that into wrote okay that's generally we used to say v1 and v2 in present tense we used to use v1 and for past tense we used to use v2 and now we are going for future generally grammarians say that there is no tense like future tense because all these are predictions in the present. We are also assuming that these things may happen in future but no one knows what will happen in the future. But anyway for assumption how to say this. Let us learn. We will take the same example of write and I will write or I shall write. Okay. Then he will write, she will write, it will write. And if it is not going to happen, I will not write, you will say, I won't write, write. And you will say, he will not write or he won't write. And then 
she won't write and there comes the plural we will write and future i'll give some examples like i will write and if i am saying it in a negative i won't write won't is a short form of will not and you can also use shall generally there are some rules how to use shall and will we have that and we'll look at that in the next class so we will write we won't write and they will write they won't write you will write and you won't write this is a simple thing which we have learned today and we have learned in today's class about how to use the present happening sentences that is simple form and past which had happened already and the future assumptions which also we speak in present and practice this using different verbs i have used action verb like present and you can check with others thank you